G'day fellas, Unapologetic Parrot 47 here, back with another episode of the Assassin's Dynasty. Check out our boy Brooks Hodges, man. 16 sacks on the season. Neil Burnett, the other end. I think he's a linebacker, actually. He is in fourth place right now. The 5-2, the dream of being a dominant defense, is already full way in effect with 70 overalls made. Today we have Southern Miss and North Texas, two teams that will probably give us a hard time. We will do recruiting and a conference standing update after this first game against Southern Miss though. With that being said, fellas, if you're new around here and you enjoy Madden and NCAA content, this is the channel for you, don't forget to sub. All of my socials are down in the didgeridoo. And if you'd like to pick yourself up some G Fuel, discount code CROW at checkout. My referral link is the top one in the description. That being said, fellas, let's get into it. Man, Southern Miss has some of the most underrated jerseys in the game by far. If only they had a Nike tick, bro. It annoys me so much. All right, let's see what's going to happen, fellas. This is one of the best teams in our conference. This is massive right here. Run play. Okay, okay. You got nine yards. Not a bad start. So hold on a second. If we get a chance, I might try and put strip ball on. Because they're just running it back and forth, like back to back to back. Eventually, their running back's going to get tired and cough up the rock. Watch. Let's see if this makes a difference now. It's a good way to counter hurry-up teams is just put strip ball on. Yeah, <laughs> see what I'm talking about, man? Oh, it's a screen play. Oh, well. I mean... Oh, fumble! Let's go, baby. We don't have to wait for the pun anymore. Just give me that ball, man. Nice little blitz off the right. That's a mean blitz. Oh my goodness. Good stuff. All right, they are pressing on the right side. We know from the Daniel Monroe RTG what that means. Neil, oh, look at the running back, Joe Simmons. He has to be a wide receiver, man. He catches the ball more consistently than our wide receivers. Okay, third and seven. They've decided that they're going to go hurry up. Interesting choice since they didn't really get any yards. What I say, man. What I say. They're lacking on the left. We might be able to get him here. Got him. Oh, step back, cheese. Let's go, Anderson, the true freshman. One play touchdown, big 44 yards, mate. Trey Harrison now has three passes for 100 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, and the best alternative to them is just start passing the ball. This could very well be in a screenplay. We've seen it before. It is? <laughs> oh, oh, what? Yeah, it like bounced out of our hands and went into the running backs. That's, I've never seen that before. Go, Jamie Jones. Cut it through here. Cut it back out. Oh, my goodness. Dude, I was about to say, I've got to be the GOAT punt returner in this game. But really? But let's go, Trey Harrison. We got some nice blocks. <laughs> Step back, cheese. Oh, I did not think that was going to work at all. I actually meant to juke. But the step back got him easy. Just like that. It is 21-0 in the first quarter, bro. This is going to be a fast episode, fellas. I'm sorry. Dude, I got stuck. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Oh, dude, I messed that up. I wasn't even looking at the screen, if I'm being completely honest. Tripped him up. First and goal. That's a bad play. Dang, they're in. <laughs> good on him. All right, let's see if we can get a nice little return here. Get us some good field goal range. Oh, range, sorry. Perfect blocking up the left side. Jamie Jones might very well be gone. He is gone. I didn't even have to juke, bro. There's nothing about his kit that makes him an exceptional return man. It just works, bro. He's just goaded. Dang, man. They're starting to dissect our blitz. This blitz has to get there. Come on, boys. You know they're going to do some cheeky little pass. Actually, let me jump on one of the corners. It's a run play. Let's go, man. Good defense. And we have no squiggly line cheese because I think they know they've already lost. 
Joe Simmons. There we go. He actually broke a tackle. Good on him. All right, so we definitely have free range right here because they're pressing. That's not smart. Either or of our receivers could get open. Yeah, look at that. Carr absolutely burnt his cornerback. It's not even a contest. I don't think we've missed a pass yet. Four for four, 155 and three touchdowns, bro. And just like that, fellas, we can uh, simulate out of this one. Checking out the stats, Trey Harrison, 218, three touchdowns. Only at a 55% completion rate, though. On the rushing end, not too much, but Joe Simmons with 52, which is nice. On the receiving end, Sean Carr with nearly just like just under 100. Joe Simmons as well. As well as Marcus Anderson. All the new guys getting involved. And on the defensive side of the ball, we did not get a pick, but the computer got two of them. Presley and Brennan Day. We only had one sack, which is surprising, and it did not go to our boy Brooks. We had a lot of TFLs, though, which is awesome to see. So I kind of wish it was more to update you guys on in terms of recruiting. Again, there's really not much at all. We have the lead on basically everybody. It's just back and forth since we're such a crappy school. Yet yeah, there's a lot of big schools going after a lot of these guys as well. I expect this to probably go on right up until the end of the year. As of right now, we have four people and only one of them is decent. And that guy is a punter. Everybody's been scheduled for visits though, and it is scheduled for around the end of the year as well. So when you look at the top 25, you see that Boston College is in second. They're taking on Virginia Tech. That's actually a really good game. 95 overall, 99 offense. They are no joke. We're not ranked yet, but in a few episodes, maybe even the next one, we take on UTEP who are ranked ninth in the nation. If you remember last year, they were ranked this year, they're 7-0. and It's actually unbelievable to see how well they've done. Yeah, so we're going to probably end up versing them in the next episode, if I'm not mistaken. We currently sit in fourth place of the CUSA West. There's two teams that are undefeated, obviously. We just have to make sure that we do not lose a game for the rest of the year. We've been dominating, so if we come out and have another game like we did against Marshall, it's just, I mean, it's just not going to be enjoyable, is it? No like golf, fellas, but if you do enjoy the Assassin's Dynasty, don't forget to leave a like. Literally takes less than a second, and it helps the channel out so, so much. As you can see, North Texas has a 90 offense. We're going to be struggling in this game, I think. But let's give it a crack, fellas. Good luck us. And they're starting out in a formation that could have a screenplay in it. Even though I know it's a run. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, getting a little bit fancy on the first play. Going to try and take off. In the 3-4, he's going to get sacked. Brooke Hodges taking one whole minute to get his first sack of the day. Screen play, here we go. He tried to take off and get fancy with it. That's going to be another sack. Just don't call screen plays. That's how you beat me, mate. Just don't call them. Okay, so they're going to press on third down. This is risky, but we do have the blocking. Can Carr beat his corner? He did beat his corner. And of course it would be overthrown, because why wouldn't it be overthrown? Wow, how did he get out of that? Unbelievable. It's crazy because their run game isn't that great. It's the caliber of offensive linemen they have that are getting the blocks. I'm there with Presley. Good tackle, good wrap up. I knew it, the out route. Oh my goodness. How is he in, by the way? Get out of here. Yeah, there's no doubt that they're going to score here. Good to see the fans turn out as well. You see that? We couldn't give away free tickets before. Now everybody wants to be here. Ooh, nice sack. Good job. Quarterback tried to take off again. The 3 2 6 defense of all things going to stop him. And it's crazy because we've had one drive this entire game and we're already in the second quarter, man. North Texas really loves taking advantage of having the ball. Cut it in, cut it out. Woo! So we already know on the left, the matchup between Carr and his corner is an easy win. Uh, I'm not going to it now because he's not pressing, but we just got to keep an eye out on it. Step back, cheese. Anderson nearly broke away. 
Dude, Joe Simmons cannot break one tackle, man. It frustrates me so much. Yeah, Joe Simmons is pretty good. I'm not going to lie, but I don't really like him as my running back. He just doesn't fit my play style at all. That's a touchdown, though. Well, okay. Oh, he dropped it? My guy, what? All right, so obviously they're going to run it. Let's send the dogs. Oh, look at that. They tried to play action it. Risky play, and it's definitely not going to pay off. Your score in this game is 3-2. to two. You know, what a weird scoreline. Wait, why is Day doing the return? Did Jamie Jones get injured or something? Gotta take off. Got him with the easy Duke move. Trey Harrison is gonna get tripped up. Good run, though. If we do get any closer, I will be chewing the clock. I think that's realistic enough, right? Because you don't want them to get the ball back with too much time. Let's go. Slide. Oh, okay. Well, that is definitely an interception. Uh, I don't know why I threw that. I literally threw it directly at the person. Pro is having another bad game. What is it with versing teams that are green and white? First Marshall, now North Texas. They are definitely playing with fire if they decide to play action in here. I think just to be safe, they will run it, but you never know, mate. Yeah, it's going to be a run play. Very nice. If that is Jamie Jones back there, is it? No, it's not his day. Oh no, it is Jamie Jones. Yo, what? Nice. Cut it back. Cut it back out again. Great field position. We're guaranteed at least 30 when he's back there. Nice. Anderson with a good catch. Very nice. So well, right in the end zone. And that's going to take us to the second half as well. All right, second half time. All we're going to do is keep the pressure on these guys. We can beat their defense and their offense is like a 50-50 if we're going to beat them. There we go. Nice block on the outside. Cut it back in. I'm telling you, you do not need the right stick at all, man. Just practice going in and out. Nerf the left stick, please. Oh, crap. Square is gone. But look, we got another opportunity to take off. Taking off. Trey Harrison carved him up. Big cojones straight in the end zone. Third and four. They try to go with the cheeky run. This game definitely is not over. That's not what I'm trying to say. But the second half has literally been all Oakliff. Even the end of the second quarter, man. Jamie Jones is back here. We're about to get another big return. Ah, no, we are not. I'm just going to chill out, man. I'm not in any rush. I don't want to throw a pick. I'm going to take it easy, man. Very nice by Joe Simmons. Oh, no way. Trey Harrison, I got a slide. I'm not trying to take a hit from behind. You know what's funny, though? We haven't seen them press, like, at all. Ever since that first touchdown, they just haven't not gone back to it. Run up circle, go! Like, bro, nobody's behind you. You're just standing there. Just go, bro. Told you, Marcus Anderson is such a good wide receiver to just have. Here we go. Big third and 11. We are one set of points away from Mercy ruling him. It's a screenplay. Ivy's going to shut him down. So what do you guys think? You guys saw the conference standings before this game. Do you think that we jump up into first? If UTEP loses, I've, that's going to be such a good game when we take on UTEP. Oh, man. Let's go, Jamie Jones. Outspeed, ready for this? Ah, <laughs> a little bit premature there. Because right now, I've got to remember, we're in fourth place right now in the CUSA West, which is weird because we're literally 6-1. and one. It's just our conference record that's trash. Trey Harrison, carve him up. Wow, I thought he just fumbled that. Look at the blocks on the inside, man. Our offensive linemen aren't great, but they definitely are better than I thought they... Like, they're playing above their overall for sure. That is what, like... I don't even know. 31 unanswered points. They scored first. It's already fourth quarter time. Let's go ahead and get out of here, fellas. It's been another bloody good episode.
Checking out the stats, Trey Harrison, two touchdowns, one pick. Didn't have a great game, but on the rushing end, he carved it up. He had 104 yards, as well as three rushing touchdowns. Joe Simmons with 82 as well. Definitely the biggest breakout game for him. On the receiving end, not too much. Joe Simmons going backwards, of course, but Marcus Anderson being a solid freshman this whole season. And on the defensive end, today we really did dominate in the 5-2, unlike last game. A whole bunch of TFLs. We also had two sacks apiece to the two, I guess, country leaders. Brooks Hodges is up to like, what, 15 sacks now? 17 or something on the season? Just having a breakout year. But that being said, fellas, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. Please stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace. So athletic, I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, I just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on my feet, touch heaven. I've been head first, bitch.